here, it's slaughter everyone. It's slaughter everyone or convert to Islam, and that's fine with you. Do you, do you really not see the difference between someone surviving to, and again, do you, tell me, get, tell me the truth now. Tell, give me an honest answer to this one question. If I went to Mecca and I preached against the religious beliefs of the people of Mecca today, all of whom are Muslim, would I last 10 years? Tell me, tell me the truth. Give me a true answer. Tell me I would last 10 years. It'd be kindly removed from the city of Mecca. I would be kindly removed from the city of Mecca if I walked into the Kaaba when people are gathered together and I start saying, Muhammad is a false prophet, Allah is a false God, the Quran is not the word of God, this is all deception. You're saying I would be kindly removed from Mecca. Do you, do you hear this? Do you hear this? Yes. Viewers, do you hear this? I would be kindly removed. People drive... Someone makes a little cartoon of Muhammad in a Danish newspaper and more than a hundred people around the world at random are slaughtered and he's telling me that if I walked into the middle of Mecca at the Kaaba and I start, call, I start condemning the religion as a false religion, I would be kindly escorted out of the city. Do you see this? They did not get... Did they cut you off? Hello? Okay, Ibrahim is gone. Uh, well, let Ibrahim call back. This is, right. I, like, I like talking to Ibrahim. It's All right. A... Uh, we have Naveen. Naveen is going to speak in Arabic. I'm going to translate now. Okay. Naveen, yeah. good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to speak in Arabic. Yeah, I'm going to speak in Arabic. David is American, right? Yes, but I'm going to speak in Arabic. I'm going to speak in Arabic. I know. I'm going to speak in Arabic. Okay, I'm going to speak in Arabic. حضرتك أنا أنا عايزة أتكلم بس في حاجة إني إنه ال أنا شايفة إنه مثلاً أنتوا بتعملوا فعلاً 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 جود جاب أنا مبسوطة قوي من الحاجات دي نفسي نفسي فعلاً إني ال ال القنوات دي تدخل أو تتعرف للأمريكان أو الأوروبيين على أساس إن هم يعرفوا ما مدى خطورة الإسلام اللي بينتشر في أمريكا عن شكل غريب جداً لدرجه انه في حد بيتصل كان من كام يوم طيب خل اتوقف هنا عشان اترجم انا بقى اوكي شي از ويشينج ذات ذيس كايند اوف بروجرامز ان انجلش تو ريتش ماني تشانلز ان سبيشالي ان يوروب اند ذيس از واي وي ار دوينج ات ان دافتر نون سو ذا بيبل ان ذا انترنت ان يوروب كان واتش اس يو هاف اني كومنت ان ذات يس هاو وي كان سبريد ات مور ذان يا اي ثينك وي جست نيد تو كيب doing what we're doing and, uh, and, and asking yeah. people to tell their friends and pass the word on. Uh, but you, we, we do need help, so please support, uh, please support ABN so that they can continue. Uh, the, 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 more, uh, the more support ABN has, uh, the more they can do. And at the same time, if, you, uh, if there's any way you can pass on the word about the program, emailing, even emailing friends, something like that, uh, you, you, can, you can help out that way. And mm -hmm. also, if, if anyone out there has connections to other... Uh, television networks, local area television networks, uh, it's very easy for them to uh, be getting the satellite signal as we're, as we're broadcasting and for them to broadcast it as well. So if anyone has connections to TV networks, uh, have them contact us because we can work with them uh, to reach more people through the programs. Uh, all right. Uh, our phone number is 248-416-1300. Ibrahim is back. Uh, hello, Ibrahim. You're on the air. Hello, sir. It's me again. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, we didn't finish our conversation. I don't know why the uh, call was cut. I don't it's know. Not, you it's not me. from our side. Well, it was cut from your side because I certainly didn't cut it off from my side. All right. Well, obviously, if we wanted to cut you, you wouldn't be on right now. Well, I'm glad I'm back, I'm back All right. again. Go ahead. Yes, I just wanted to further uh, clarify a few points that were made earlier on. Okay. Uh, you make mention of the fact that, uh, you know, Muhammad tried to uh, invite people and then when they were not satisfied, uh, well, sorry, when he was not satisfied, that he turned against them. Uh, that suggests that guidance would come from the Prophet, whereas the Prophet himself was reminded that guidance does not come from him, it comes from God. So he had no business of being frustrated. He would not have been frustrated because he would know that his job was simply to pass on the message. To be a messenger. Well, well why, 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 if, 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 he, if he's just there to pass on the message, uh, why did he start launching caravan raids against the people? I mean, why wasn't he busy uh, in Medina just preaching the message? You say he's just there to deliver the message. Why does he start attacking the Meccans when he has an opportunity to live in peace? 
In other words, in other words, what you're saying, and this is very common in Islam, Muslims tell me things, and these things totally contradict what their Muslim sources say. So Muslims tell me, ah, Muhammad was just there to proclaim a message. Well, what's he doing going out and attacking people's caravans? What's he doing, what's he doing going out uh, launching military campaigns? What's he doing fighting battles? He's just there to proclaim a message, right? In other words, I'm here to proclaim a message. I'm here to proclaim a message. I'm not going out and slaughtering anyone. If you say Muhammad was just there to deliver a message, that totally contradicts Muslim history, which says uh, Muhammad went out and fought. And think about this. I I'll show you how you contradict not only your sources, uh, not only your historical sources, but the Quran as well. What do you do with Surah 929? What does it say? It says, fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor do they prohibit what Allah and his apostle have prohibited, nor do they follow the religion of truth from among the people of the book until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. Notice what that says. Fight people who do not believe. If people have different beliefs or different practices, you as a Muslim are commanded in the Quran to fight them until they're subjugated to you. This isn't proclaiming a message. This is establishing a dominant religious and political system even over people who disagree with it. So in Islam, it's not, uh, it's not here's the message, take it or leave it. It's here's the message, you either accept it or you die, or if you're a Christian or a Jew, you can pay us for the right to survive. Uh, that's what your religion teaches. So again, I mean, think about this. Everything he said about what I've claimed or anything he said about what Islam teaches so far has been a misrepresentation and a distortion. Can you or can you not present Islam accurately without distorting history and your religious sources? Who is distorting history and the religious sources? I'm just trying to simply try to clarify to you the points that you make. But, but, but when, I, when, I, when I say Islam, Muhammad goes out and fights uh, and launches raids against caravans, or Muhammad fights the unbelievers, or the persecution of the pagans against Muhammad is nothing compared to how Muhammad would persecute them later on, uh, these are all facts, and you try to deny all these facts and try to twist all the facts. So you're not just, you're not, you're not clarifying anything. You're distorting things. Okay, when he was in a position to slaughter the entire city of Mecca, which lay at his feet, which was the practice of his era, of his age, instead he, he said to them, that go that you are free. Now, look, now what, listen, listen to the distortion, because again, this is very common. This is very common in Islam. It's true that when Muhammad entered Mecca, he only said, Here, here's a few people uh, I want dead because they've insulted me earlier on. Uh, here are a few people that have to die, but other than that, other than that, uh, the people are safe. I'm not going to kill them. That's what he did at the beginning. Later on, Surah 9 comes down to him. Read the opening verses of Surah 9, because even though he initially said, you're okay, then it came about, you have four months, people. You have four months. And I'll give you the whole, I'll give you the whole historical situation. Uh, the pagans continued that year. So following that year, uh, the pagans continued the practice of the pilgrimage to Mecca, but they used to do it naked. They would come naked. And Muhammad didn't want to take part in the pilgrimage uh, with the pagans because they were naked. And following that, so he didn't go. And he said, all right, next year, you're no longer allowed to take the pilgrimage. You're not allowed to take the pilgrimage after this year. And in fact, you've got four months. You've got four months, you pagans. You've got four months. This is, this is the opening verses of Surah 9. Read Surah 9, 1 through 5. You'll see what it says. Uh, you had certain people who they had made an official agreement with. So with a certain person, they might have made an agreement, you're okay for five years or something like that. And Muslims were still supposed to uh, adhere to that agreement. But for everyone else who had been safe up until this time, it was laid down, uh, you have four months. After that, slay the unbelievers wherever you find them. So you say Muhammad could have slaughtered everyone, and that's true. Uh, at the beginning, he did not slaughter everyone. But after a time... He laid down the rule. Uh, you now can get out. You have four months to get out of the city. Even if your family has lived here for centuries, you're going to have to leave. Uh, if you, can, you can either leave or you can convert to Islam. Uh, and if you don't do either one of those, we're going to kill you wherever we find you. If it's in a cave, we're going to kill you in the cave. Wherever we find you, uh, we are going to slaughter you. So again, this is, vast, this is vastly different from what the pagans did. Muhammad lives among the pagans, condemning their religious beliefs for 10 years. Muhammad gets in control, and a few months later, a few months later,